Hey you guys, Linwood here, and today I am going to show you the Vampire Knot. So stay tuned and thumbs up if you like it. Um, if you haven't seen my last video, you can feel free to do so and check it out by clicking the uh, video right here. Or you can always look down in the description box below. I have links down there also. So let me move forward and that way you can have a better look. So this is the Vampire Knot, and one of my viewers suggested the name for it, and the thing I like about it is when you look at it like this, it almost looks like the fangs that you would see on a vampire. But the lovely thing about this knot is it transforms into something else. So uh, when you are not wanting it to look like that, it can easily move down, and it looks almost like the Illusion Knot. And if you haven't seen that video, then you can go ahead and check it out right here also. Um, and be able to give it a look. But it favors the Illusion Knot like this, and then you can also pull it up and have it to where those fangs show. So uh, for those who are really into vampires, you know how a lot of people don't realize they're vampires until the next thing you know those fangs come out and they get you. So that's what I absolutely love about this one. I'm going to go ahead and take this baby down and then we'll get started. Uh, just so you guys know, don't mind my lighting. It's a little gloomy outside today and typically I do like a lot of natural lighting in my videos. So it's a little bit darker than usual. All right, let's get started. All right, so I've got my right side here, my left side here with my tail. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and place a crease in the blade and pull it to the center. Pull my tail side over the top, uh, or over the blade. I'm going to go ahead and bring it around the back, just like so. And from there, I'm going to fold that baby in half, bring it on up, and tuck it through the center, just like that. So once I've done so, I'm then going to go ahead and take the tail in, fold it across the front like so. And I'm going to bring that baby right on up and around. We're just going to bring it underneath and, oh, I'm sorry, wrong direction. We're going to bring it around here, fold under. Make sure your smooth side is facing out here. As you guys can see, I was bringing it to the wrong side. My smooth side wasn't facing out. That is crucial. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and bring up and around from there, just like so. And then I'm going to come around to my right side here, cross on over the front, and tuck right on up through here. So from there, I pretty much have my knot all together. I'm going to go ahead and bring that tail in and just tuck it behind the neck there. And as you guys can see, it's a pretty simple knot. It doesn't eat up a ton of fabric, so for those with larger necks or a little taller, this one should work well because it's sitting right about my belt line. And then, like I said earlier, you can always pull it down for that um, illusion knot type look. And almost reminds you of, like the cowl of their cape. Uh, and here you have more of like the fangs. So I really enjoy this knot. Um, it's pretty easy. It doesn't take long, as you guys can see. It's a bit more uh, basic, honestly, but. I still like the way that it turns out and it gives a certain look to it that draws attention. Now the key pointer I will tell you, make sure when you pull it underneath here that you pull it nice and snug, otherwise it's going to slide down on its own, especially if you have on a silky tie. So just make sure that you've got a nice and snug tie and you will be good to go. So for everyone who's planning on dressing up as Dracula for Halloween and didn't quite know uh, what to do with that necktie, now you know. So I hope that you guys like it. If you did, let me know in the comments below. And as always, uh, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, um, and uh, comment. And until next time, you guys, I will see you later. Take care and God bless. You're fancy now.